wanted to ask about um, techniques such as TFT and EFT, the, the yep. tapping techniques. Yep. Yep. And, um, <clears throat> I also saw a man up in uh, Montville who did, he did the tapping, but also you, you say a statement that contains a lot of stuff in it, and he taps it out of you. Yep. And, um, and <coughs> metaphysical neurology, which is something that um, someone I think you met, uh, yep. the yep. Do those, um, I'm just wondering whether those actually, what I sort of feel is that I'm, in doing those I'm kind of avoiding the emotion, I'm, 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 I'm dissipating them without feeling them, and is this helpful? It really gets down to that, inside, what's happening inside of you, what's your intent? You can use any, remember I just said this, you can use any technique you want as long as you intend to connect to your deep emotional causal reasons as to why you feel the way you feel. You can use exactly the same techniques in many cases to detune from the emotion as well. So it just depends on what your intent is. So what is your intent? Is your intent to connect and feel or is your real intent to want an easier way? I want an easier way than what AJ is suggesting to me, which is, and all I'm suggesting to you is, you're going to need to experience the emotion you froze in time at the time you didn't experience it. That's all I'm suggesting to you, right? You're going to need to experience that emotion now. So if it was one year old, you're going to feel one year old. <coughs> and you're going to feel that emotion that you tried to shut down, or in most cases, your parents or your environment shut down in you at that age. Right? So what is your intent? Is your intent to have an easy way, tapping yourself out of the emotion? Or is your intent to tap yourself into that emotion? What's your intent? Now, most people's intent is to get themselves out of the way. Yeah, get themselves out of the emotion. Why do most people use meditation? For the same reason. Right? Most people have to meditate every day. Do you think if you're at one with God, you'll meditate every day? Why would you need to? You're in a constant state of bliss. You're not, you're not going to be meditating every day, are you? You're just going to be enjoying whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do it, however you want to do it, all the time. And you're not going to need to have an hour or two of meditation in the morning to get yourself started with it. Right? That's not how it's going to be when you're at one with God. Is there anyone at one with God? On earth? Hmm. No. <laughs> So in the meantime, you can use a little bit of meditation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you're sincere, but what is your intent? Why are you using this meditation? Because I feel closer to God. I feel closer to God. Do you? Absolutely. Without doubt, no exception at all times. How can I be closer to God when I'm further away from myself? Well, if we're talking about the head self, the mind, it's the intention of meditation. That's not yourself. It's to get out of mind. Yeah, but, but what's yourself? What did I say your soul is? Your emotions, your, emotions. your passions, your desires, your longings. Yeah. Right? Now, if you're using, and I'm, <clears throat> if you're using meditation right, to get away from emotions, to make yourself feel calmer, then you are actually getting away from yourself. How can you be closer to God if you're less so further away from yourself? So how about feelings of trust there? You know, I asked you before the lecture, AJ, and you said, learn to trust your feelings. And the feelings I have after meditation are the ones I can trust. And there is a, a loveliness and a lovingness Okay. Let me ask you one other question then. Truly. I say it because I... Why aren't you in that state permanently? Why aren't I in that state permanently? Why aren't you in the state of trusting permanently? I don't have an answer. I don't understand the question. Does everyone else understand what I'm asking? What do you feel? She hasn't done my emotion. What causes me to mistrust... 
It's the one time that I feel real, that the only thing is real. Yeah. And myself. I know. After that. All of the reasons you're giving me are reasons why people have become, on the spiritual paths, have become so addicted to meditation. <coughs> but it's us. <coughs> being addicted to toxic thoughts. Or, I, I understand. Or, no. It's what, better than. You know, our most powerful addictions are the ones that are good. The ones that are, yeah. feel good, right? Yeah. But who's addicted to sex, right? <laughs> <laughs> so who's going to put that hand up there? It's only me again. But see, you've become addicted to meditation. And the reason why you've become addicted to meditation is because it does take you away some co from core emotions that need to be felt and released. And then you won't need any of these addictions at all. You will not need to meditate every day. In fact, you won't even need a day where you feel you need to meditate to connect to God. Now, I'm not saying don't meditate and don't connect to God using meditation if that's what you want to do. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is what you are currently doing is avoiding some emotions of mistrust that you have of God. AJ. And you only feel trust with God when you meditate. And pray. I, I include the whole thing, yeah. the whole kabush, not just... I understand. You know, and yeah. there are times when you have some deep mistrust issues with God, and those emotions, mm. if you deal with them, will actually cause you to be permanently connected with God, and you won't need meditation then. You won't need, in the end, any tools. In the end. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. But we're not at the end yet. We're at the beginning. That's so, the problem. So, the, the reason we're why we children. search for tools is because we want to avoid the emotions. <coughs> the reason why I need a tool is because I want to avoid. I want to tool, feel good. We use the tool, the brain, the tool that we use to make reasonable, practical decisions in everyday living. We use I don't. the carpenter uses, but you're, you know. No, but, but honestly, every celestial spirit does it, so why do you want to keep doing it? Why do you want to keep doing that? I'm saying, here's our soul, right? There's our soul, feminine soul for yourself. Here's your spirit form, right? Here's your material form. What bit do you want to develop? What's the real you? That's the real me. That's the bit you want to develop. And how do you want to develop it? Do you want to develop it natural love? Because natural love is fine if that's what you want. And what you're doing is developing it natural love, and that's fine. But it is not going to be anything that's going to result in alignment with God if you avoid, if you use your tools to avoid an emotion. That's what I'm saying. But how about using the tool to feel love? Look, I know when I feel love and lovingness. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. I, I know it. But, but you <coughs> know also that you can it. become so addicted to that feeling of love mm. that you then avoid all the emotions that you feel that, that are outside of that. Mm. So I'm saying don't avoid anything, including the love. Mm. <laughs> you follow me? But what you're doing is you're trying to select the good emotions and not feel the bad ones. Mm. Right? And that feel, is not, feel, feel. and that's not going to get you at one with God. What it's going to do is get you to the sixth fear of your progression, and you're going to feel good doing that because you're only selecting all the good emotions, and all the bad ones you'll finish up ignoring. <coughs> what I'm saying is, get rid of all the bad baggage by experiencing it, and then you will experience everything as it happens, and that is. Painful or pleasurable, you experience everything. Remember what I said humility was. Humility was the desire to feel every emotion within me, including painful and pleasurable. As soon as I use a tool to avoid a pain, what am I doing? I am now only selecting pleasurable emotions. Am I in a state of humility now? No. No? If you're not in a state of humility, you are never going to be at one with God. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. 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 I'm not saying to throw away these things that you've done. What I, and I've said this quite clearly, have I not? What I'm saying is, if you use a tool to avoid, if that is your intent, 
then you are not going to be at one with God doing that. That's what I'm saying. And you need, all of you, including me when I say this, need to be in a state where we're willing to accept all of our emotions, mm. not just feel-good emotions. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, on these spiritual paths that are all being presented to you today, what are they all doing? Most of them are presenting the feel-good emotions, yeah. are they not? Mm -hmm. Concentrate on the feel-good emotions. Do all the feel-good stuff. You know, do the crystal work, do this work, do that work, all the metaphysical things to make mm -hmm. yourself feel good. Get the massages you want. And all these different things that make you feel good. But all that's doing is it's developing one half of you. Mm -hmm. And it's leaving behind this other half which feels bad. Mm -hmm. And in the end, you're still going to be carrying around the bags. It's a bit like picking up a bag of rocks, mm -hmm. carrying it around in your shoulders and making out it's not there. <laughs> that's what we're doing when we're carrying around these emotions all the time. It's tiring. It's going to be tiring. And eventually it will be tiring. And Six fear spirits in the spirit world who are in a really good condition of natural love are still carrying around bags of emotions that they have neglected to actually be truthful about in their life. And you can get to that state too if you want. You can use all these intellectual techniques. No worries. You can use them. And every technique out there that's there that's not dealing with an emotion or that's making you feel good rather than just making you feel is going to detune you from your relationship with God.